In this lesson, we'll cover the V-Ray Spotlight. First, open up your V-Ray Asset Editor and click on the Light List, and let's delete the Sphere Light. Next, click on the Spotlight icon, and to add a Spotlight, go ahead and click somewhere in your viewport. Then we'll need to place this more carefully. I'll orbit so that I can get a top-down view, select the light, and first, be sure to move it away from the wall. Then I'll click back on the Scene tab and move it up, and be sure to spin it so it's pointing back at the chair. Then let's go ahead and preview what this looks like by starting an interactive render. So a spotlight shines a focused beam of light. Let's check out what we can do with that spotlight by flying out the extra parameters here in the light list. We'll concentrate on the spotlight specific parameters we see here, starting with the cone angle. With the cone angle, sliding the slider to the left will shrink or focus the beam down, and sliding the slider to the right will expand it. Let's settle on a value of 1.5. For the penumbra angle, this determines the falloff from where you see the light transition to the dark here. At a value of zero, there is no transition, so it's a very hard edge. Slide the slider to the right, and you'll see a much smoother or more gradual transition. For the penumbra falloff, drop down this menu option and switch to smooth cubic. This will produce a more realistic result. For the shadow radius, you can see that we have hard edges where the shadow of the chair is on the wall. The value of zero essentially means that we have a point light or a very small light, which produces that hard edge. As you move the slider to the right, you're increasing the size of the source light, which ultimately softens those shadows a bit. Lastly, let's take a look at the decay. Right now it's set to linear, which means the light doesn't decay at all over the distance from the source to the rest of the scene that it's illuminating. Switch this down to inverse square, which is a bit more realistic. You'll see though that everything goes dark. That's due to the attenuation of the light. So we need to go back up to units and set that to radiant power and then adjust the intensity back up to account for the decay. 